I'm Barry Chandler, co-founder and principal at StoryForge, helping you build a business that matters. For as long as I can remember, I've been surrounded by Unilever products, uh, that fast-moving consumer good company. Their products are everywhere. They're in our bathrooms, our kitchens, and they have been for, for, for generations. I started to get um, become more familiar with Unilever when I started studying Dove, one of their brands, their soap brands, and particularly their campaign for real beauty. We're all familiar with this campaign where they focus on real women, they focus on elevating self-esteem, focusing on the real person, not just physical appearance or, or beauty as it's perceived in the media alone. And as I dove into to, to that, those campaigns, I realized that there was an underlying, um, there was an underlying, I guess, foundational element um, that became even clearer to me when I started following the CEO of Unilever, Paul Pullman, on Twitter. And I'll put his Twitter details below the video. But, but Paul tweets 20 times a day, 30 times a day. And all of his tweets are about why he has decided that the focus of Unilever has to be to improve the world for those who live in it. It has to be to create sustainable environments. It has to be to lift people out of poverty. Um, and Paul was recently uh, honoured uh, as one of the 27 uh, heroes of conscious capitalism at the Conscious Capitalism CEO Summit. And he was honoured because uh, of his contribution, in their words, uh, towards realising a world in which business is both practised and recognised as a force for good. And he was interviewed recently in a Forbes magazine, for a Forbes magazine article, and he was asked why did this become the focus for Unilever? An enormous company, one of the largest companies in the world, has decided that their entire focus has to be on uh, realizing a world in which business is both practiced and recognized as a force for good. And his really interesting reply to the question, he said that I've always believed that everyone, including business, has a role to play in addressing uh, societal problems. Business needs to be part of the solution, not the problem. We cannot be bystanders. We need to be a giver, not a taker in a society that gives us life in the first place. It is, after all, not possible to have a strong, functioning business in a world of increasing inequality, poverty, and climate change. But the good thing is that next to our moral obligations to address the global challenges, it's also an enormous business opportunity. That's the equally exciting part. This is not a message about being a feel-good company or appearing to care about the society around us alone. While we must care about those that surround us and our stakeholders, what Paul is hinting at here is that this is a business imperative. Um, and they haven't had to give anything up in this process of pursuing this purpose or this meaningful story for the organization. In fact, the stock of Unilever is up 300% since, uh, since Paul Pullman took the reins about nine years ago. And uh, he's recognizing that when we start by addressing the needs of those stakeholders in our ecosystem, what tends to happen is we get rewarded financially because of it. Why? Because we're, we're, we're solving problems for them. We're elevating, out of, elevating them out of situations that they're in, be it poverty, be it inequality, whatever it may be. And when asked what advice he had for emerging leaders, uh, he had a really interesting response too. He said, being a good leader starts with a firm commitment to your purpose. It's not enough just to say it. You have to act on it too. How many of these videos have been about purpose, about meaning, about mattering to your stakeholders? Here now we have one of the largest companies in the world saying his advice for emerging leaders is focus on your purpose, not just tell it, but live it at every step of the organization. So um, your, found, you know, your purpose, we've mentioned it so many times in these videos, is the foundational element of this meaningful story that you need to tie everything together when you hire new team members, when you consider new initiatives per, to pursue, when you look at marketing uh, initiatives or campaigns, when you consider sales approaches, everything has to emanate from this one meaningful story where purpose is a critical element of it. So um, remember, 300% returns from Unilever over the past nine years. Wouldn't it be nice if we got that for our businesses, if every business, business could get that kind of return, while also solving real societal problems. So follow Paul Pullman on Twitter. He's a great, um, he's a, a voracious tweeter. I love reading his tweets and it's inspiring to see leaders at that level taking, taking charge and helping us all understand why purpose and a meaningful story leads everything we do.